Okay, YouTube, hello, and uh, welcome back to Yo Look What I and I Found. Um, and uh, thank you for uh, tuning in to another uh, Lucid Dream series dream. I've had another dream, and I'm sorry I don't do these more frequently, but I don't always have lucid dreams. Uh, this dream is the Oprah dream, and I'm very excited to tell you uh, all the details of this dream and hear what your interpretations are in the comments. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will try to create more content for this channel. Anyway, let me get right into the dream. In this dream, it was very interesting and um, detailed. Um, however, I did not jot it down. So this is all from memory. But it was that vivid that I didn't have to jot it down. But some of the details I might be saying, I think, I don't know, it sort of was, okay? So... I know there was a lot of other things in the dream that led up to the central part of the dream, but here is the central part of the dream. The central part of the dream was that there was this exclusive high-end restaurant like a Le Cirque or a uh, Sardis, let's say, that I was sort of invited to, sort of not invited to. I had made friends with this sort of powerful couple and or maybe just the female in the couple or the male I'm not sure but I know that both of them sort of implied that I was invited to this dinner that Oprah was hosting at this fancy restaurant and as we approached the place and entered the place it was a very large place kind of arena like in a way um, and there was the table that all the upper echelon people were going to sit at. And I got the sense as I approached with these people as their guest that I wasn't really supposed to sit at that table. And I didn't kind of get the hint. They made subtle hints, but I didn't take them. And I just stayed. And there was, was tension that I felt from some of the guests at the table. However, Oprah didn't give approval or disapproval, but was sort of looking over at my way, which is odd. I don't have any could, like desire to meet Oprah or anything like that, but it's kind of odd that she was in my dream. Now, what I noticed when I realized and felt that tension of not really supposed to be sitting at the table is I started to realize that my hosts or the people who had invited me to the table wanted me to sit at another table in the restaurant. They were allowing me to be in the arena, but not a player at the table. And I looked up at where I was supposed to sit and it was very Roman-like. It was sort of like the Colosseum where in the center is where the kings stayed sort of and all around is where the plebes watched from a distance. And I stayed at the table. The dinner was uneventful. I don't recall anything major happening at the table. And it actually went by in a flash. Next thing I know, everyone was leaving, and I was sort of with them, but sort of not. But I feel like it was my entry. And I wanted to see what the other seating was like, so I could have could see where I was supposed to sit and I went around I walked up this long stairs and it was very dingy and very there was hardly any tables and it was like a movie theater was sticky seats and stuff and I was like well I'm really glad I didn't come up here but this is where I was supposed to sit which is odd and then instead of going out the grand entrance I went out where everybody else goes out and when I walked out I walked out into chaos new york city as a matter of fact i walked out into 1981 ans plaza for anybody who's watching this who's from brooklyn and knows what that might i mean by that it was flatbush 1981 graffiti on the wall however it wasn't actually 1981 but it was the scene of ans plaza 1981 however it was 2020 Black Lives Matter graffiti, despair, people arguing about all the horrible topics of today, racism and, and such. And, uh, and I looked at the graffiti on the wall and was 
conflicted about what I had just sat through and where I was going and what I was supposed to do next. And I believe that was about it. I was not in danger after that point. I do remember that. And I do remember kind of getting on to a better place, but nothing concrete. That's basically the dream. Interpret away as you will. Please If you're a Jungian or anybody who understands dreams on that level, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you want to poke fun, say whatever, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're people from Periscope that love to troll, do whatever you got to do. But please, subscribe to this channel. I'll try to create more content on this channel. And um, if you're friends on Facebook, please don't be ashamed to leave a comment here on YouTube. Although YouTube is a dying platform, so please join my bit shoot. Look for clean and humble on BitChute. It's not the same as this. Uh, this is more my vlog, YouTube channel. And also, if you want to check out my music, please go and subscribe to the PSQ Wall, P-S-Q-W-A-L-L channel on YouTube, youtube.com slash PSQ Wall. All right. And thank you for being here. Uh, thank you to all, I think, 100 plus subscribers. And I'll try to continue, even though, I don't know, YouTube's a little weird these days. But please, Dream interpreters, lucid dream people, come, 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 come! Give me your thoughts on this, please. Oprah Winfrey, if you if you're watching, uh, thanks for letting me sit at the table in my head. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, that's it. Subscribe, like, share. Thank you.